Hi there and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can connect a new component to Arduino. Um, the example I'm going to show you is the one of a temperature sensor and I use the DHT11. Uh, uh, why? Because I had it within one of my uh, within one of my kit. But as you can see, there are many different temperature sensors that you can uh, that you can use. And uh, typically, what I would like to say today is about okay, how do you handle uh, the first time that uh, you are getting one of those components that can be any other components, and how do you deal with Arduino in order to integrate it? So just to let you know that. Um, you can have many different cases, like uh, you purchase this given component, it comes to your place, uh, you try it on, it works straight away, or uh, you're going to spend like half a day, uh, one day, hours uh, trying to understand how does it work. So I'm just going to uh, give you the example of this one and how I succeed to make it work. And I have my... Um, and I have my Arduino card, which is here, as you can see, with the DHT11. Uh, so in fact, um, the way I deal with it is that once I receive uh, this given uh, component, so the one that you can see here, um, I just look through the order that I made about what is the name of this component, because it's from the name of this component that you can dig uh, within the documentation in order to know how uh, you can start to create your first uh, map your first uh, prototype of it. So uh, let's now move back on, on my screen and then you end up on a website such as uh, such as this one. You can end up of course on the official uh, Arduino website. It's just that sometimes I get some issues to understand the official Arduino website because it's only some high context. Um, and here is uh, giving you the main information that you, uh, that you need such as uh, what is the power supply that you should uh, put energy uh, to. It's really important this part because you can easily burn your uh, component if you don't select uh, the right voltage. Um, here you get the spec information about this uh, given temperature sensor which tells you if it's the right purchase or not. And um, then most of the time when you go down the page or when you dig a little bit more, you will end up on the explanation about how to get started with it. So they will uh, most of the time give you a schematic made on freezing or uh, equivalent where you have a clear idea about how you need uh, to connect the different wires. So you will always get uh, a red cable or a black cable, one for the ground and one in order to bring the energy. And then you will get most of the time one or even several cables in order to extract uh, the data out of the components and then to make it available uh, to the Arduino card. You also most of the time have a resistor uh, over here in order to not burn uh, your, uh, your component. And then when you add a component, high chances that you need in addition to the code that you will upload later on, uh, that you need to have a library in order to make it work. In fact, when you look at uh, the uh, Arduino code that uh, most of webmaster will make available for you, they will most of the time tell you, okay, include something which is uh, here, include dht.h, or uh, yeah, include, well, when you see an include something, it means that uh, you need to have a library on, and in order to have the library on, you need to go within your Arduino system, you need to go here on tool, you need to go here on manage libraries, and this is where you need to search for uh, the component uh, that you want. So in my case, uh, it would have been, for example, DHT11, DHT11, in order to find out uh, the different uh, libraries which will add additional file in order to make the component working. So uh, here, as you can see, uh, you need to install different libraries if you want to make um, to make the the library working. So here they're asking for two libraries, one which is named Adafruit Unified Sensor and one which is named uh, doo -doo -doo, so named the DHT Sensor Library. So in fact, this is what I did over here is that I went on the libraries and I installed uh, those two libraries. Just to let you know, it's very easy uh, to install. You just need to enter the file and then to click here on install and it will install the library right away. Once uh, you do so, then uh, what is great is that when you install the library, it's going to give you the different samples code. And that's really interesting because sometimes uh, you just go on websites such as this one, you copy and paste the tracking code and it doesn't work because 
um, the person make it from scratch, not the case of this given tracking job, it seems to be the, the, the work file, but the example help you really uh, take the one which was intended for this given component. So you just go here on file and then you select samples and when you install your libraries you will see that uh, they will uh, show out uh, out of the last uh, library installed. So here I get the unified sensor, get the DHT sensor library, so I can for example pick out the DHT uh, tester, uh, so here's the DHT tester, I can, as its name stands for it, I can test it, so I just uh, click on this given button, and um, here you need to read a little bit, and here it said, for example, that this uh, sample code has been uh, uh, written for the DHT11, DHT22, and DHT21, so in my case, this is the DHT11, so as they said in the comment, you need um, you need to uncomment the one that you want to use. So in my case, I'm using the DHT11, so that's why I'm uncommenting this one. Um, and then, da 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 da, they are seeing a lot of things connecting one on the left, da, 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 okay, blah 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 blah. Okay, so they are seeing a lot of uh, different things, and this is what what will happen. So uh, now I'm going to upload uh, the, the code to my my card so if I switch back to my card as you will see uh, nothing crazy is happening here I get simply my sensors on and um, so I made exactly the same wiring as explained on the on the schematic so here you see that I'm bringing some energy here it's connected to the ground and here it's connected to pin number two and this is how my uh, schematic look like and now if I move back on my on my screen if I look through the console I should see that uh, my um, my tester is working, so it's telling me that the temperature is 18 degrees, uh, which should be uh, which should be fine, which should represent the temperature that I have right now in my room, and that the humidity is at uh, 35 to 34 percent. And that's everything that I wanted to to show you about when you have a new component, you just look for libraries, you install the libraries, then you have your schematic fine, and then you use the uh, sample code in order to see your component working on. Hope uh, it's going to help you understand a little bit more how you can add extra components to an Arduino card. Thanks for watching.